Hey guys, what's up? This is Analog Resurgence, I'm Noah, and today we're gonna look at one of my favorite Polaroid cameras of all time, the Polaroid Spectra ProCam. <laughs> Everybody loves the Polaroid SX70. I mean, it's a classic looking camera. And the Polaroid 600s are really easy to come across in thrift stores. And I mean, they've been a long fan favorite for everybody as well. But today I want to look at one of the more overlooked, lesser known versions of Polaroid cameras, the Polaroid Spectra. Polaroid Spectras, or image cameras as they were called outside of North America, were introduced later in the 1980s. These Spectra cameras offered wider images in comparison to the smaller SX70 and 600 film at the time. This means that for Spectra cameras, you need this different kind of film. Now, luckily, Polaroid Originals currently makes this Spectra film in both color and black and white for you guys to pick up and start shooting. So let's take a quick look at the different models that the Spectras came in. This Spectra model featured the most options of any of the Spectras with exposure compensation, flash control, and even a built-in self-timer that you can use. But I've actually seen a few of these different Spectra models have problems on different occasions when ejecting the new film. This could just be because the new film is a little bit thicker than the old Polaroid stuff, which is why there's only eight shots in a pack. Or it could just be the aging mechanics and the motor in these cameras. But I am a little bit weary of putting film through these because I have seen them jam multiple times. So keep that in mind if you guys are looking to pick up a Spectra camera. Alternatively, I've had really good luck with shooting using the Spectre 2 camera. The Spectre 2 is actually very similar to the Spectre 1 model, but it actually has some stripped down features, so it lacks everything aside from exposure compensation on this one. But it is a little more reliable, I've found, when putting through the new packs of film. My go-to Spectra camera, though, is the Spectra Pro Cam. Now, this thing is so cool. First of all, you open it up and it pops up. It looks like something out of the movie Blade Runner a little bit with this kind of techno noir look to it. Now the Pro Cam only has a handful of basic options, exposure compensation, autofocus control, and flash control. But it does have this optional date stamp control here, which will actually expose the date and time numbers onto the top corner of your Polaroid. Honestly, the date and time option is a little bit annoying just because if I don't turn it off every time I open up the camera, then it will always put those numbers on the top corner of my image, whether I want them or not. Now, the ProCam does have sonar autofocus on it, which is a feature that most Spectras do have. Sonar autofocus is something that I'm gonna look at a little bit more in an upcoming video on the SX70 models. But it's a pretty good system and I do always end up with images that are in focus. One of the biggest appeals of the ProCam and probably the one that makes it stand out from all the other Spectra cameras is the lens. The lens is actually a wider angle lens than any of the other Spectra models out there, which means that it's great for any of those party group shots or just to give you a different look when you're shooting Spectra. Now I've done some research on the camera as well and I found out that the lens contains glass glass elements, which is great and gives you a nice sharp image because a lot of other Polaroid cameras just have plastic elements in their lenses. So that's really what it comes down to for me. If I'm going to shoot on the Spectra format, then I like to be able to use a camera that will give me all these different features in comparison to the standard ones that a lot of other Polaroid cameras have. It really helps to make the Spectra format stand out for me. Now the Pro Game might not have as many cool accessories as a lot of the other Polaroid cameras did. But if you can track them down, they did make two main lens accessories for the camera. The first accessory is this little one. Now this is just a close-up attachment for the front of the ProCam. You put it on the front of the lens and you can shoot images as close as one foot in front of the camera. The best piece though is this enormous macro lens attachment for the front of the camera. It's almost as big as the camera and once you put it all together, it's huge. So this unit works by putting it on top of something and the camera will focus on whatever is right at the front. So ideally you're only shooting something maybe flat or that you only want partially in focus. It does give you a nice sharp image and I think it's really cool. It's my only Polaroid camera that allows me to do something quite like this. So just like other Polaroid cameras, the Spectra loads right at the front. Just push this button here that says film and the front will drop open. At the front you can see the rollers and at the very back you can see the pick arm that's in most Polaroid cameras. If you ever get a camera that isn't ejecting film properly, you can take something long like a screwdriver or a knitting needle and just push this arm down a little bit. Its function is to push the film forward through the rollers and over time it might just get bent up a little bit. At the front are the standard rollers and it's always a good idea to clean this between packs with some alcohol just in case of old leftover chemistry. So just take your pack of Spectre film Put it in, close the film door, and it will spit out the dark side. Now you're ready to go. 
And of course, don't shake the Polaroids. It's a myth. It doesn't really do anything. So I would recommend the Spectra for pretty much anybody who can get their hands on one, really. But especially for those of you who want to shoot the Spectra format and use something that's a little bit special. It does really give you nice sharp results when using that bigger, wider Polaroid image. And I've always been so incredibly happy with it. It really is one of my favorite Polaroid cameras ever made. Having shot the Polaroid original stuff, I'm usually really happy with the results. And I've shot the SX70, the 600, and the Spectra packs, all in a different variety from black and white to color. And I would really like to say that probably my favorite film is the Spectra black and white stuff. I've always been really happy with the contrast and the detail that comes out of shooting each pack. And if you guys can get your hands on a functioning Spectra camera, then I would definitely recommend checking out the black and white Spectra film. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed and I hope that you guys seek out Spectra cameras and try them out, whether it be the Pro Cam or just the Spectra 2. They're both great cameras and I really like them. And subscribe if you haven't done so already as I continue to post a variety of analog content every week from Polaroids to motion picture to stills and everything to help you guys get into shooting some of these old school analog formats that I love so much. Thanks and I'll see you guys soon.